Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. And here at The Hanger Project, we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the importance of quality dress socks. Now, quality dress socks, I think, are one of the most overlooked aspect of a well-dressed man's wardrobe. Easy to forget about, a fine, high-quality socks makes an incredible difference in how comfortable one is throughout the day. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the characteristics that constitute quality. I'm gonna show you some of the fine socks that we carry here at The Hanger Project. And lastly, I'm gonna talk a little bit about aftercare and how to make sure that you take the best possible care of your socks after you buy them. If you have any questions about anything I discuss in this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I get back to all those questions personally. Now, most people think that over-the-calf socks have to be uncomfortable. And if you're buying normal, ordinary over-the-calf socks at a department store, they are uncomfortable. And the reason is because ordinary over-the-calf socks are knit with very thick cotton. So this is a Polo uh, Ralph Lauren over-the-calf sock that's made from 100% cotton. And you can see how thick this cotton is. So of course, if you put this on your leg, you're gonna be dying throughout the day. It's gonna be absolutely suffocating you. Even worse is this gold toe, 100% wool cotton sock. Now again, this could be a ski sock. It's incredibly thick. It's not made of a fine cotton. It's quite itchy. So having this as an over the calf sock extending all the way over your calves, again, throughout the day could be incredibly uncomfortable. One of the hallmarks of a really high quality sock is that it needs to be finely knit out of a really high quality thread. And so all of our socks here at The Hanger Project are knit on either 240 or 260 needle machines. Now what that is, is socks are knit on a little circular machine, and the number of needles really controls how thin of a thread that they're able to use to knit that sock. So the general rule of thumb is that the higher the needle count, the thinner and more finesse you have with the actual sock itself. And so with 260 needles, you're able to get an incredibly fine sock that really all but disappears on your foot and your leg throughout the day. Now that's incredibly important because a really fine sock is not only more comfortable, but it also allows your foot to better breathe, uh, and then also does not get in the way of your foot and your shoe fitting really nicely. So if you wear a really thick sock, you know, you've got a lot of unnecessary fabric in between your foot and the shoe, and that gets in the way of the shoe's comfort really being experienced. If you're someone that enjoys fine footwear, as most of the viewers are on this channel, you should absolutely be wearing a thin, finely knit sock that allows you to experience the full joy of a well-made pair of shoes. The difference in quality between these two socks couldn't be any greater, and you can see the difference in finesse between our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade sock and this ordinary store-brought uh, Polo Ralph Lauren sock. Now the difference with wool is even greater. Again, all of our wool socks are knit uh, on a 240 needle machine that allows a really fine merino wool to be used. This is smooth and soft, whereas this store brought sock is uh, you know, thick and itchy. So throughout the day, there's gonna be a huge difference in how comfortable our sock is versus an ordinary sock. Now the other characteristic of a really fine sock is that it needs to be available in multiple sizes. Not just a small, medium, large, but you really need five to seven sizes measured in the length of the sock in inches. Now what this does is it allows you to size the sock to match the size of your foot. And that prevents any type of unnecessary wrinkling that may occur along the foot itself that creates discomfort throughout the day while still allowing the shaft of the sock to be tall enough to fully extend over your calf. Now that's important because if your sock is small, you may not feel it in the foot, but you'll notice it because the sock itself is not able to extend all the way over the calf, and therefore it's gonna slide down throughout the day. So if you find that your socks are sliding down throughout the day, it's probably because you're a half size too small. Another important quality of a well-made sock is that the toes are hand-linked. Now, hand-linked toes just means that this is closed manually. Now, this just allows this to be done smoother and much, with much more finesse, and it's just gonna not be any additional fabric right here to produce discomfort. Now, of course, all of our socks have reinforced toes and heels, and so what you'll find is it's a little bit thicker at the toes and the heels just to create extra durability than the rest of the sock. 
Another hallmark of a luxury sock is something the Italians called a gambaletto. Now, all socks have a little elastic uh, band at the top that's normally an inch to two inches, right? But the gambaletto basically extends that one by one ribbing with a little bit of elastic or lycra an additional few inches down the shaft of the sock. Now, what that does is it just allows the sock to stretch like an accordion more easily over your calves. And that's important because you just feel less pressure of the sock kind of squeezing the calf. And that creates, again, a sock that throughout the day is just going to be more comfortable. And lastly, one of the most important characteristics of a luxury dress sock that you don't hear spoken about often is that a luxury dress sock should really be 100% natural material. There shouldn't be any nylon in a proper dress sock. The reason is because that nylon decreases durability of the sock itself and makes it less comfortable. And so if you have a properly made sock from 100% cotton or 100% wool or any combination of natural fibers that are knit on a fine high needle count machine uh, and that's well taken care of, it's just going to be more comfortable throughout the day and not produce any static. And so this day and age, it is harder and harder to go to the store and find a high quality luxury dress sock that's available in more than three sizes, that's knit on a high needle count machine, and that's made from 100% natural fibers. Here at The Hanger Project, we have one of the largest, most comprehensive collections of luxury dress socks available on the internet, and probably one of the most significant collections in all of North America. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the different styles of socks that we have here. First is our 100% cotton 920L over the calf uh, cotton dress sock. Now this is knit in Italy using 260 needles to create an incredibly finely knit sock using the finest quality 100% Egyptian Giza Mako cotton. A lot of people make Egyptian cotton socks, but the Mako cotton is from a small island in the middle of the Nile that is producing the longest staple highest quality cotton dress socks. And what this means is that you're just gonna get a softer yet more durable cotton dress sock that's made out of Egyptian Mako cotton than you will made out of anything else. Now this is really the backbone or a staple of a wardrobe. We have these knit with a vertical rib and they're available in more than seven different colors. Next we have our 100% wool dress socks. Now these are knit really using the same design as our cotton socks but they're made from a really beautiful and fine merino wool. Now, a lot of people think that wool is something that you would reserve just for the winter time, but with a really finely knit wool sock like this one that's done on a 240 needle machine, uh, it actually does an incredible job kind of wicking moisture and regulating its temperature. So we have customers that actually enjoy wearing wool socks during the summer or transitional seasons also. One of our newest additions and one of my favorites is our 70% wool and 30% silk sock. Now this is a solid sock with no rib, very formal, incredibly thinly knit using 260 needles. And what I like about silk is that it just adds not only durability to the sock, but just a slight sheen to give this sock a little bit of pop. And so this is a very plain weave. Again, there's no ribbing or any design but with that 30% silk, it just adds a little bit of sheen that makes this sock really stand out. This is another beautiful dress sock available in multiple colors and should be the staple of any wardrobe. One of the socks I wanna show you that is easily my favorite is our melange small dot sock. This sock is knit with a small melange effect that just produces the right amount of texture on the sock itself and it's got small dots. This is easily probably my favorite sock in my entire wardrobe. I've got multiple uh, pairs of these uh, in this uh, dark gray, uh, and then it's also available in other colors, uh, dark brown, uh, and then also a navy. Uh, this is my favorite sock. It's beautiful, it's elegant, uh, but you'll find a wide collection of other fancy socks uh, on hangerproject.com. With a little bit of special care, a fine pair of luxury dress socks really can last years. And so I wanna to speak to you a little bit about aftercare. Now there's two components of aftercare that are really important. First is how you care for the socks whenever you launder them. Now, if you can hand wash your socks at home, that's the best. But not all of us have the time to hand wash socks. 
So take a look at our video on how to launder socks or the garment care guide that we have on the website on how to launder socks. And we go through a very detailed process of how you can take the best care of your socks just through these simple practices and how you launder them. I'm gonna review them in this video though. First and foremost is that you should turn your socks inside out before you're gonna wash them. The reason is because there's always gonna be a little bit of residual lint in the washing machine itself. So if you turn your socks inside out, the inside of the sock is what's going to accumulate that lint. So whenever you turn your socks right side out, you know, the outside of the sock hasn't accumulated any lint that's gonna cause fading. Next, and for that same reason, you wanna launder all of your dress socks alone, only with dress socks. You don't wanna put anything else in the laundry machine, especially anything that is going to lint heavily, because all that's going to do is fade your socks. Third, wash them with cold water, light detergent on a gentle cycle. And then lastly, and arguably the most important, is to never tumble dry your socks. What I recommend is buying a drying rack and exclusively hang drying your socks. The reason is because the heat causes the breakdown of the fibers. And so if you're uh, tumble drying your sock with heat, uh, you're going to dramatically decrease the longevity of the sock itself. The next thing you could do to increase the lifetime of a luxury dress sock is to darn it or mend the sock whenever they get holes. Normal wear, it is completely possible to wear a hole in the toe of your sock. We have an entire video on our YouTube channel on how to darn or mend socks, and it's really much easier than you would expect if you're using a darning egg. Last is how to size your sock. So here at The Hanger Project, all of our sovereign grade socks are sold uh, by the length of the sock itself. So this sock right here is a 10 and a half inch sock. And what that means is the length between the toe and the heel is 10 and a half inches. We have an entire sizing guide for all of our socks on the website. And it's very easy to just look up based off your shoe size, what size dress sock you should be wearing. Having five to seven sizes is really important because it just means that whether you're a size eight or a size 12, you're able to find a dress sock that fits perfectly, that's not gonna fall down your leg throughout the day, and that doesn't bunch up uh, across the foot. So I hope in this video you've learned just a few of the key characteristics of a true luxury dress sock and how with proper care and maintenance, even the finest socks can last years. If you have any questions about anything we discussed in this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I get back to all those questions personally. And of course, please take a moment to visit hangerproject.com where you'll find the largest and most comprehensive selection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care products in the world, as well as other products for the well-dressed. While you're there, please take a moment and subscribe to our newsletter so that you can receive notifications whenever we launch new products, run promotions, as well as our weekly digest summarizing all the videos that we publish here on our YouTube channel. If you like this video, give us the thumbs up or better yet, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you can learn whenever we publish new videos. I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project, and here at The Hanger Project, we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining us. Oh,